Let's take a look at my Coleman portable barbecue. Had this about three years without any problems except for this doesn't work, the striker or the igniter. So I just light it with a lighter. So first you add the water down here. I guess this help catch some of the grease. It takes about three bottles to fill it. And for tonight's meal, we're having uh, barbecue lemon pepper chicken, my own recipe. I know how boring it is to watch somebody cook, so I won't do that. I will show you that I ground down the grills. So if I put a tray on here, it goes all the way across, if it's bigger than that size right there. All right, let's get to cooking. So they'll probably get done first, but you can turn down the sides on this. Except for the center. The center does the whole center, and you can turn down the heat on left or right. Setup's pretty simple on it. I've got these little side tables that pull out on both sides. So this thing will get pretty hot. It's at 300 right now. I just closed the lid. It's at, uh, I don't know, about medium heat. Let's see how long it takes to get heated up. It's been about five minutes, and temperature is a little bit over 400. We got a pretty good wind coming through here, so that might be affecting a little bit. That's gonna cook a lot faster, so I'll probably have to turn that off a little bit over there. So I run it to straight off a propane tank. Connection goes up here. I hook in right here. A little T with a pressure gauge. So I can still switch the tank over if I run out of propane in the trailer. The trailer is equipped with a propane outlet with a quick disconnect. But the problem is, is that it's regulated. And so is this barbecue. It's also regulated, so the pressure will be too low to cook. It'll barely come on if you hook straight into the trailer. It's been about five more minutes. Got the temperature turned up all the way. See, it's uh, 500 degrees now. It's probably a little hotter than I wanted. I'll turn these down a little bit. And I think we can flip the chicken now. So I use these trays. It just really makes cleanup a whole lot easier. Don't have a big mess. I use them for everything, for breakfast and dinner. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. Besides the igniter going out, I called the manufacturer and there's pretty much nothing they could do for me. I tried to get them to send me a new one and they wouldn't do it. So not so great customer service. Cook most of the meals on here when we camp in. Sometimes I'll use the campfire to cook a steak or something. What I should probably do is add a level onto it. Like uh, one of these, just to help level it, make it a little bit easier. Instead of guessing, watching which way the bacon grease flows. Okay, looks like we're done. Time to eat.